on a découvert que 5% du océans. Enfin, tu vois, c'est ce que je voyais tous les jours. So, but I've sorted out my video, mate. I don't know when I'll upload it, but I'm just glad it's fucking finished and done so I can now record again without having memory issues. But yeah, just outside Weatherspoons and uh, waiting for my food to come, fish and chips, but I'm just smoking a spliff while I wait. I was going to get wings and chips, but I just thought I'd have a change. And also it's like different other than McDonald's, so yeah. Also, I met this guy the other night, and obviously we've met again today, so, yeah, his friends are also coming down, he's from uh, Stoke-on-Trent, he's from, but yeah, his friends are coming down later, so I think we're going to all go out together, so, yeah, it should be good if I can tag along with them as a group, yeah, but yeah, the sun's coming out, or is out, and clear blue skies, as you can see, which is a change, because we've just had wind and rain, so, it's nice to get a bit of sunshine and see what it looks like in sunlight. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having a good time, mate. I'm feeling good and uh, feel fresh to have showered, freshened up, and got a new shirt. And I've got a new jacket as well. It's my new jacket. Don't want to get a blend mark in it already, but yeah, a new jacket. But yeah, feel good. And my new shoes. It's really comfortable because I've been doing a lot of walking, so yeah. Anyway, we'll do the J12 and that. So, you're right, bruv. I'm gonna go inside. And, uh, yeah. Suburb. Just finished my food, mate. Back outside now, just smoking another spliff. I really like the weed. Because you could taste it, but it's not too heavy really light and mellow. Don't get me wrong, it's always nice to have strong weed, but it's also nice to have a break, especially as I got quite a lot done today, which will then lead on to more other things. So, yeah. I really helped myself, really. <laughs> By, uh, putting in a little bit of effort today, so yeah. His girlfriend's here. She just come off the tour, she's going back to Spain tomorrow. They met in Spain, he was living there, so she's come over to visit him. And yeah. But it's all good. <clears throat> it's all good. It's nice to be with a group. Creating the illusion that you're not alone. <laughs> Anyway, stay blessed for now. It's a bum. <coughs> Hope you're on good vibes, mate. You're treating, you're staying blessed. Life is treating you well. I'm uh, cutting my trip short, and uh, yeah, I had a really good time yesterday, but. Um, I think sometimes you can have a little bit too much of a good time and for me it's a case of um, I wanted to uh, enjoy myself just chill out and relax and all that but at the same time 
I don't know, it's just like, I don't, it just, it gets really weird sometimes for me, like, it just gets really weird, like, if I'm out, like, it just gets really weird, and then, I'm pleased though, like, nothing has gone wrong, so I'm pleased with myself that I haven't reacted in a way that is going to cause me to have problems, and I'm not leaving on a bad note either, and I've still got all my shit and I haven't been robbed, but, <coughs> While it's going good, I just make the most of it, and yeah. There's a few times where I had to um, exercise self-control. In terms of Knowing when to leave. <clears throat> I'm not talking about knowing when to leave to see it, I'm talking about just knowing when to leave a situation and not, um, I call them quick flicks. So, a last minute comeback, last minute retaliation something that you react to which you don't really need to react to but it's a quick flick and it's just one of them ones where you do it in the moment but then afterwards you're like Ugh, it was a quick flick so and it's caused me more hassle than it was worth basically but that hasn't happened I'm just saying I'm avoiding that from happening so I'm pleased or oh, I have avoided that from happening just took it upon myself to take myself out of situations when it was getting too much for me rather than just exploding I've enjoyed my time in Liverpool though I'll be getting a bus back rather than a train Yeah. But it's all good, mate. It's all good. Please drive weed. Anyway, I'll update you a bit more. But for now, I've just got to face a fucking eight-hour bus ride. <laughs> eight. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Six, seven. Well, it's all good either way. This place never sleeps, I swear, never sleeps. Seven on the bus, mate. Absolutely naked.
when you're there. They're really nice. Until you get to London. Yeah. It's been a massive, massive um, learning experience. that I went and um, have no regrets about the trip. There is a few more things that I wish I could have done or would have done but it's okay. There's another scene. Anyway, we were off the uh, spliff and I get back to base. It's so gas. And I've left her uh, like nearly over a queue. Um, half a queue, sorry. Over half a queue, so. So boom, made it back to base mate. Had a shower and a sleep. Some food. And now I'm uh, just about to smoke my first split. It's weird how you spend time in a different area. And like, you can picture what would be happening, like in the area. <laughs> to be chilling there's not a sound in sight or in in earshot to be heard should I say but yeah it's um nice to have that switch up of uh, lifestyle As I said before, it was a spontaneous trip, so all things considering, I think I've done extremely well. I'm very proud of myself. Sounds a bit stupid, but mm. I do feel proud of myself that I've just made it. <laughs> Literally. It was just a little random idea. I just sat smoking a zoot and then I was like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. But yeah. It's all good, mate.
Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Whew. Boy, boy. I don't feel any sort of way about being in the quiet. And normally I'll be bored. So I think I'll be doing another little mini trip again, but... Yeah, otherwise, I'm pleased to just be on the vibe. There was this guy that I met, yeah, while I was waiting for the bus. Oh, it was so long to wait for the bus, but yeah. There was this guy that I was, wait that I was waiting with. And, uh, yeah, he was alright in the end. He was actually alright, but you kind of just know. Like, literally, you kind of just know. And I met another group, which was completely different as well. So, that really sort of boosted the trip because it's nice when people give. But I always find, yeah, <clears throat> it's always strangers that are nice to me rather than people that are actually. Not necessarily know me, but would sit down with you, chat with you, talk to you. But then they would never put in the effort to actually, I don't know, see you or be with you. Or offer you something. And it's not like I would um, hang out with someone and then expect them to give me something. But then I, pr I suppose that's probably why I get a lot more. But yeah, I just find that I always get treated like because if i if i meet people yeah then i could just just randomly you obviously bump into people and it's just like a few words like whether it be directions and then you talk about the day and then they might tell you a little story and that's it but if people just actually sit with you meet with you actually spend time as a human being to get to know you then it's nice it's nice rather than just people only contacting you because they want something yeah which is obviously something that's always there but because I just keep myself to myself I don't notice it but it's not until I put myself out there and I try and be like okay fine let me give people a chance it's like oh dead <laughs> dead but it's calm Cause like I said, I just do my little trips. And yeah, obviously you're going to meet certain other people, but it makes it all worthwhile when you get people that are in a group. And like, they just welcome you into the group. So yeah. <clears throat> and also other travellers as well, like, I love meeting other travellers. Because <laughs> sometimes it's one extreme to the other. And you'll meet people that have like... Not really travelled much. So... I don't know. Because there's not really f much for me. Well there is actually. There's plenty of things to talk about. Um, in England. In terms of... Just locally. But then I don't know. Sometimes it's just a bit like... Small, but literally small-minded. Yeah, small-minded. Because it's just... There's other things, like, going on. So it's nice to be able to talk about different sides of things. And if I speak about something, like... Someone being able to share a story which is, like... Similar, or even more extreme. But, like, in a different country, but with similar sort of standards. So it's just, yeah. It's just nice. I was thinking, yeah, because I was doing this little joke, right, where I was walking down the street, 
and um, <coughs> we was walking down the street and there's this guy sat in the, the doorway like begging but he had like all his like um what you call it his quilt and his sleeping bag and his rucksack and all of that obviously his little uh, cup for his change like he had like a few sandwiches and that and then there was a fucking guy with the street cleaning hoover like in the orange for the council and he was just like hoovering and then um as we was walking past him and then the the the, the guy the council guy was was uh, like hoover hoovering up like around him and then um lifting up like he was lifting up his quilt and then hoovering up the guy lifted up his own quilt and then the council guy was hoovering underneath it and uh, I was like, look, he's getting his front room cleaned, like, he's getting it all, mate. And he's not playing for that. And I was like, I don't even have a fucking cleaner, mate, to come and clean my fucking front room, mate. Or someone would tidy up my bedroom. It's just so funny, but it's just like, I was just going in on this guy. <laughs> oh, it was just, oh, it's hilarious. Like, it was so funny. Was so, so funny. But yeah, it's just, mm. it was just a funny trip, mate. It's just, it was just a funny trip. It's a lovely place, bro. It's a lovely place. And as I said, I wanted to go and <clears throat> while I was there, go from a place to place and do more places. But yeah, I was just uh, I was on a vibe, a good vibe. But there were certain things that just yeah. And I did manage to hold it together, but there's no point in testing fate. Like, <laughs> and not purposely putting yourself in a situation, or even if it isn't purposeful, like knowingly, like a situation is a bit sketchy and you could leave, but you just chose to stay knowing that it's going to end badly. But then you're like, oh, fuck it, who cares? Blah, blah, blah. But just, yeah. There was quite a few times where I just had to just walk away and just leave and then sort of do something else. And it's like I was trying to make the effort. Like, this is not with a group now, this is just on my own. Like, I was trying to make the effort, but it just wasn't happening. Like, literally, it just wasn't happening. So. But it's okay. Like I said, just to be able to take another city off the map and travel the distance, obviously use the coach as well, use up that, that Flix bus as well, because it's only three quid to get a bus. Um, yeah. Decent, mate, decent. And also so pleased to have weed mate. Which I again I purposely did like knowing because I was like, I know I'm gonna run out, but there's nothing worse than coming off a trip and then just having no weed and having to fucking saw out weed. It's just like oh long. Mm. Myself a nice mango as well. Some fruit. <laughs> oh, mate, it's so quiet. <laughs> oh, it's so quiet. The country versus the city. But I much prefer, okay, yeah, fine, I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. But obviously, at the same time, achieving a lot because I pulled off the all-nighter. I was fucking pissing it down. Fucking got the train. Fucking got a bus. Found accommodation. Picked up weed. 
in another city as well when on the bus yeah it was cold Good trip, eh? What a good trip. The air is different as well. It's more fresh and crisp. And you smell like trees and like fields <laughs> and cows. Rather than like McDonald's and kebab and <laughs> just like bus fuel. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh mate, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling so good. Enriched. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there.
Stay blessed. Stay lean. In peace.